Today we enter a new section in the small catechism, the Apostles' Creed. The first article of the Creed says, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. When I recite the first article of the Creed, I immediately begin to think about how God created us, beautifully and wonderfully made in God's image. For me, this is easy. I know my Creator makes no mistakes and perfectly crafted me with all of my imperfections. Then I was challenged to look at this article through a new lens. What does this article say when I think about creation and my call, our call, to be good stewards of the land? This became immensely more challenging for me. As humans, we like to stay in our comfort zone. I always felt okay about viewing this article of the creed through the human creation because it was confirmed in Luther's small catechism explanation. God has given me and still preserves my body and soul. But then I read the next paragraph, the one I had always ignored because it took me out of my comfort zone. It says, in addition, God daily and abundantly provides shoes and clothing food and drink, house and farm, spouse and children, fields, livestock, and all property, along with all the necessities and nourishment for this body and life. Now I'm back at thinking about this article, God, the creator of heaven and earth, through the lens of creation. We are called to take care of this land that provides us life, the air we breathe, the food we eat, the crop that makes the clothes we wear. God created the land and all that is in it. God created me, a capable human, to protect this creation. This new lens does not change my understanding of God, the creator, but it expands my understanding from an inward expression to both an inward and outward expression. Then God said, Let us make humankind in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the heavens, and over the livestock, and over all of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on earth. 